Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, you're still alive, right? Barely. Okay. Uh, and you're 62 Two. years old. Yes. And I'll be 60 next month. I've heard that. Um, to, on today's show, something a little more sensitive when it comes to men's health. Oh. And we're going to be talking about Mr. T. Okay. I pity the foo. What? Low T. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> the morning zoo horn. Right man. on time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> on this episode, men, do they go through menopause? Yes. We'll tell you how next. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We're glad you're here today. Thank you for watching our show. Even if you haven't heard the term andropause, you probably know what it is. That's because medical marketers use another more popular term for the condition called low T or low testosterone. Can't blame them. It sounds far more fun and it's as if there's an easy solution, but... Uh, it depends on the person. Maybe not. Uh, essentially, andropause is, is male menopause. Menopause. Yeah, it's menopause. Uh, it's not exactly the same thing as menopause, which occurs in females who are, on average, 51 years old. That's when women go through the hormonal changes in which their ovaries stop making estrogen, mm -hmm. stopping the menstrual cycle. Yeah. Men, on the other hand, have a gradual decline in testosterone levels than naturally happens with age. Uh, after age 40, yep. testosterone levels decrease about 1-2% to every year, according to the Harvard Medical School. Now, many guys are totally fine as testosterone begins to dip. Others might notice symptoms like a lack of sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, problems sleeping, losing muscle and gaining fat, depression, or memory problems. It goes on and on and on. The AUA points out that's the American Urological Association, that there are so many other explanations for the above symptoms that go beyond lower testosterone levels. So it's always important to have a very thorough physical slash chat with your doctor before assuming you need to be treated. If your sex drive is the issue, um, it's important to talk to your doctor when you notice it and catch it early. There are several things that can be going on, not the least of which would be prostate cancer. Right. Uh, so first, ask yourself if your symptoms might be the result of an another problem like poor blood circulation, heart troubles, or even digestive issues. Uh, your doctor will want to give you an exam and a blood test. According to this AUA, male menopause, or low T, is a score of below 300 nanograms of testosterone per deciliter of blood. Uh, just about 2% of men may have what the AUA considers testosterone deficiency. The numbers are low enough that low T makes the list of conditions people think they have, but probably don't. Okay, so let's say you have andropause. If you have diagnosed low T and you have some of the symptoms and they can't be traced to another condition and the doctors know exactly what to look for, then your doctor may recommend testosterone therapy to bump up your levels. The delivery methods include a skin patch, topical gel, oral tablets, skin implants, or injections. As Harvard points out, the results are pretty quick. Symptoms begin to subside, and you start to feel a little more like yourself again within four to six weeks. Oh, wow. Uh, testosterone may not be the right choice, however. Unlike the implications in the ads for low, low T therapy, not all men need to be on testosterone replacement therapy. Uh, it's also a controversial treatment that comes with real risks like sleep apnea, acne, ugh, uh, breast enlargement, ugh, decrease in sperm production, and blood clots, according to the Mayo Clinic. clinic. Uh, if you have prostate cancer, the treatment can also fuel cancer growth. Mm -hmm which is never good. That's why it's not something to take lightly or to be looked at as a quick fix. I'll tell you, Ron, when I was going through prostate cancer, 
that's one of the things that they did in fact check for me and it's uh, it's a simple blood test nothing more and um, the prostate cancer and the testosterone tend to go hand in hand and uh, I was happy to find out that even at my age which was at the time about 55 I guess um, my testosterone levels were actually a little higher than where they thought they would be. Which so, could account for possibly coming down with uh, prostate cancer. It, it may be an indicator. I mean, higher know. levels of testosterone. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know I have a, a friend who always told me that his testosterone levels were higher than normal. And I would say, well, that would account for you not having any hair. <laughs> so good there one, so there good one take that one all right let's see uh better isn't always better what's tricky about testosterone is anyone no matter what their testosterone starts at will feel better when you put them on testosterone that doesn't mean that everybody should be on testosterone and they think it's a real challenge says men's health expert james hodling a doctor at the university of utah he said that in an interview with University of Utah Health Sciences Radio. Uh, so testosterone really isn't the only solution. It's a key that you stay on top of your health. Men are more, more likely to have low T if they're overweight or have diabetes. Or um, a sedentary lifestyle. Uh, yeah, uh, which also goes along with the age thing. Uh, beyond staying at a healthy weight, you should also get exercise, especially focusing on strength work to build and maintain muscle. Also, eat well, two things that can uh, also improve mood problems. Seeing a therapist can also help with anxiety, depression, stress, anger. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of things that are certainly go hand in hand with them. And, and again, I'm not sure that I would, if they said, well, you have a, a little laundry list of, you know, small problems, but we can cure that with testosterone. I'm not sure I would do it. Um, I don't know that I want to take the chance because testosterone is a, it's a cancer fuel. So I'm not sure I want to put myself in that position. Yeah, um, again, it may or may not be right for everyone. So uh, the, the most important message that we can get to you is, if you're having some of these symptoms, uh, it's it's extremely important to talk to your doctor. Yeah. And don't put it off. Men right. are like that. Men, oh, I'm fine. Right. I don't need to go to the doctor. They don't know anything. I'm my my chest hurts. I can't breathe. Right. Uh, I think I'm gonna go take I'm a fine. nap. I'm gonna have a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Go take a nap. Light up a smoke. Right. Uh, so look, I, one of the caveat that I wanted to add to this was this. <clears throat> When I went through prostate cancer, I had my surgery like on a Friday and went home on Sunday. On Monday, I was home. I was back in the hospital again. I remember. Because I developed an infection. And these don't, this is not exactly a parallel, but there's something that I wanted to say to men, and that's this. I did not begin to feel better from my surgery until I finally got up and started walking. Right. And, it, you know, believe me, the first time, it might have taken me a half an hour to get around the block because I had to stop every 10 steps or so. But I pushed myself and I pushed myself. And that's how this begins. When you begin walking, you begin to feel better no matter what the situation. Right. Uh, it helped my body, body fight the... Um, infestation of germs that had taken place in, in when I got sick. And so what I'm saying is you need to start doing a little exercise before you jump to the conclusions. Uh, it doesn't mean you have cancer. It, having low testosterone does not mean you're going to die. No. Uh, it just means that uh, you need to talk to your doctor and, and probably make some life changes. There are lots of 90-year-old men who die with low testosterone, yep. not of low testosterone. Right, yeah. So it's not, yeah, you know what, it's it's not really, it's a, not a, I don't know, 
life threatening. It's it's not life threatening, but it certainly can affect your quality of life. Exactly, Ronnie. That's exactly. So right. you know what? And if it is affecting your quality of life, then certainly have a talk with your doctor. Yeah, and you know what? Your doctor's had this talk with a thousand other patients. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Uh, for God's sakes, man, it's on every commercial on on every <laughs> sports channel that you right. watch. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I need to get one of those bathtubs. Yeah. <laughs> the step-in bathtubs? Yeah, you know, like, like they show the, the man and the woman out on the patio in the bathtub soaking up the sun. That's what I need. I need to get one team. of those uh, life alerts. Yeah, that's not a yeah. bad idea. Yeah, I fell down in the park. I've fallen. I, I fell down on the golf course and I can't get up. <laughs> I'm by the eighth hole. Can you meet me at the at the ninth hole? Just just take me to the ninth of the tee box. So that's a term that you should be familiar with. Low T has nothing to do with Mr. T. No. Has nothing with, to do with big a low T. <laughs> has nothing to do with a T-bone steak. Ooh, now I'm Ooh, hungry. Ooh, me too. Why do we always do that? Oh. It always comes back to food when we're Boy, hungry. Boy, I'm so hungry right All right, now. so there you go. That's Men Are So Smart on Men's Health. And we hope that we brought you some information. Just one more thing I wanted to add. If you are a man above the age of 40, let's say, and uh, you have been to your doctor, had the blood test, and your PSA level might be a little bit high, the doctor says there's a chance that we might have to do a biopsy, uh, you may have cancer. They don't really say that, they, but they indicate through the tests that they put you through that that's what they believe. Here's my point. I've been through it. And I want to reach out to any man who watches our show and is concerned about having a high PSA or low testosterone. If you're in fear of that, I have been through it. And I want you to know, believe me, I studied everything about it. I'm not a doctor, but if you need emotional support or if you have some questions or just have some feelings, I, I encourage you to reach out to me. Uh, I, I can only be there to listen and make suggestions or give you a point of reference. Uh, but I want you to know as a, as a cancer survivor that if you're going through this, I will be there for you, all right? Um, that's the least that I can do, and uh, I know of which I speak. And you were, I will say, you were somewhat reluctant initially until you began to research everything because what the doctors tell you they, they always give you the worst case scenario. Right. Uh, and it doesn't sound good up front, but you did a lot of your own independent research. Oh, yeah. And you went through with it and you... I'm here today. Yeah. Here I was getting very sick. I was getting very, very sick um, yep. towards the end there. Uh, and, and also, one other thing too, Ronnie, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, when people, not just men, but when people hear the word cancer, they immediately panic. And they say, get it out of me. Right. Now, look, I'm here to tell you, and you know what? I did. I had my uh, prostate removed, and the cancer is out of me. And, I, and to this point, as far as I know, I'm still cancer-free. But that is not the right conclusion to draw. I got to get it out of me. Get it out of me. Do the research. Yep. Uh, with prost prostate cancer, too, as Ronnie said earlier, Every man that reaches the age of 90 is going to have prostate cancer. And um, the fact remains that um, you're going to die with it and not from it. Right. All right. So these are men's issues and a little lightheartedness to go along with it. Uh, but we want to make sure that you take care of yourself and we don't lose you as a viewer. We can't yeah. afford that. No. Or at least put it in your will that your heirs have to subscribe to the show. Yeah, that would be fine. They have to subscribe and <laughs> click the notification bell, too. Those two things. That's all we ask. <laughs> well, and like and comment once in a while. But other that's than that, it. that's it. That's really it. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like suggesting videos. Maybe or, send an email. Would it kill but, you to send an email? That's it. <laughs> that is it. All right. Uh, we got to get... I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ryan. This has been Men Are So Smart. See you next time.